as part of CNN's Freedom Project, we are exploring the dangers that North Korean women face when defecting. Thousands of women have made the perilous journey over the border into China in search of a better life. But soon, they find themselves subjected to human trafficking, many of them in the sex trade. Now, two of those women, they were kept in a building in northeastern China for years. And as CNN's Paula Hancock reports, they managed to make a dramatic escape. A dramatic escape from a fourth floor window. Two North Korean defectors flee a tiny flat they've been held captive in for years. When I was climbing down the ropes, says a woman we will call Li Yu Mi, I knew I could die if I fell. I also knew it would be worse if I got caught, because then I'd be sent back to North Korea and my whole family would be punished for what I did. We are hiding her identity for her own safety. Lee says a broker who helped her escape from North Korea then sold her to a cyber sex operator, who she says kept her in this building in northeastern China for five years. She and other traffic defectors were forced to work long hours, sometimes sleeping only a few hours a day. She says she was beaten by her captor. He allowed her to leave the apartment with him once every six months. When I was working for the chat room, she says, I had to do everything the customers asked me to do. I saw so many perverts. It's a story shared by thousands of North Korean girls and women who escaped North Korea to what they believe will be a better life. London-based non-profit organization, Korea Future Initiative, published a report last month estimating as many as 60% of female North Korean refugees in China are trafficked into the sex trade. A spokesperson for the Chinese government said in a statement to CNN, I want to stress that the Chinese government pays high attention to foreign citizens' legitimate rights according to law and also combats activities of human trafficking women and children. Lee's chance of escape came when a customer recognized she was North Korean and being held captive and put her in touch with Chun Ki Won, a South Korean pastor. <laughs> Lee was able to contact Chun online to plan her escape. Chun says his Christian aid organization, Dora Hana, has helped around 1,200 defectors reach Seoul since 1999. In these cases, he says, the best option is to talk to the person holding the woman and ask them to release her or for her to pick the lock and run. Using a rope from a fourth floor is the last option we'd take. The route through China and onto a third country like Laos or Myanmar is incredibly risky. If caught, China sends defectors who they see as illegal economic migrants back to North Korea. Activists say they then face punishment, imprisonment or in some cases even death. A woman we will call Kwang Hayun was held prisoner for eight years in the same room as Lee. They escaped together. They travel for five days and nights through China, managing to evade detection. They arrive in a third country, we're not naming for security reasons, and enter the South Korean embassy. They were very nervous in the embassy, the pastor tells me. In North Korea, they'd learnt South Koreans are bad. They were filled with such mixed emotions. This is a journey thousands have taken before them, seeking asylum in South Korea, a journey an unknown number can only dream of, still trapped in China's multi-million dollar sex industry. Paula Hancock's CNN Seoul.